Menendez is a big fan of Telesur. Lately, he wrote to Cuba on the move to share his history. Manuel is the president and founder of a classic motorcycle club, which aim at driving motorcycles with decades of manufacturing and keeping an active not as a museum pieces, but as a locomotive means of admiration for those who appreciate the value of a historical jewel. Para conocer la historia. There is no better way to know the story of a classic motorcycles club leader than to arrive at the encounter in one of them. Cuba on the Move program is recording this time while rolling up across the streets of Havana on one of the old jewels of the CZ Jawa Classic United Motorcycle Cubans Club. They are the club members who have a meeting similar to this one every month to discuss common concerns. Its president, Manuel Menendez, says he created this project seven years ago as an alternative family for the common good of passionate friends about motorcycles like this. This is the most ancient one from 1948 but it still works counting up with a high percentage of its original parts. In addition to ZZ Jawa, we have other brands, as the German Simpson Classic and older Simpson. The later is out there, very nice, very classic. We are Cuban CZ Jawa and United Classic Club. We collect all the old motorcycles, which were made 50 to 60 years ago. The CZ and Jawa motorbikes from Czechoslovakian origin got here in the waves of motorcycle coming from the socialist countries in the early 1960s. Hence, Cubans call it the motorbike of the Cuban working class family, as it used to be delivered as a stimulus for workers and peasants. Today, Manuel is one of those trying to revive the historical automotive and social legacy of the last 60 years with these versatile vehicles. These bikes are very resistant. They are not fast since they are not designed for speed. There's a saying, they are not fast, but they go far. And I hear that they go far, but not only in distance, but also in time. Mario, the club's vice president, points out that since the socialist camp had no longer existed, Czech motorcycles ceased to be manufactured, but his bike survived the ravages of time, counting up with 95% of its originality. He assures Cuba's history could be learned by delving into a CC or Jawa motorbike. These motorbikes were used here by postmen, pharmacies, messengers in the 1960s. Many and far authorities workers on the 1970s, sugar cane harvest, particularly moving and counting up goods. Even these bikes entered the cane field like a person. Bikes have been used for going to work and on a drive for everything. Manuel is a technician in industrial mechanical design. Although he has been working in tourism for 29 years, design is still his strength. His ZZ motorbike confirms it. This piece from a pram, this backrest is from a computer chair, and this grill is from a jet ski. He says he wanted to disclose his club's fraternity and ingenuity. Thus, he requested Cuba on the move to share his story. Your program is awesome, indeed. Its name is Cuba on Movement. It's allied to what we think. We should always be on movement. We should always be doing something to improve ourselves, trying to do our best to improve for the society's sake. Manuel is full of dreams today. He says COVID-19 times made him call a tour of Cuba off, but he still has his mind set on such idea. So far, he plans to arrange a bike rally, usually scheduled in December, and prepare motorcycle tours within the city to make a different kind of tourism. For the time being, he confesses his motorcycle has long ceased to be an object for him. I say my bike is like a lady, like a man like a beautiful woman with no so much makeup. Her beauty is external, but you got enchanted by her sweet talk. 
the affection she gives you. And I'd say she's like a girlfriend who persuades you she's the one, your ideal wife, for your life, right? For being faithful and be there in good and bad times. The truth is that for many people, Cuba is an open-air rolling museum. And not only because everywhere you can find old American automobiles like new in use, but also because Cuba may be the paradise of old motorbikes like this rolling like the first day. Fabiola López, Telesur, La Habana.